Hey everybody, this is Buddy. It's August the 14th, the weather has changed. It's cool, it's like 60, maybe even 65, 64 degrees. The wind's blowing out of the east, and we got people fishing. Having a good time. They enjoy it. So stay tuned for videos that are going to be by RideIt.TV and Pitbull Power Sports, your supplier for all your skidoos and fun vehicles for outdoor adventures. Spiders and Can-Ams, they sell it all. Lynn is the guy to talk to, and when you talk to him, tell him Buddy said call. Ask him for the Buddy deal. Videos coming up now. I'm Lynn Dane, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting rain on. Together we are right at you. This week on Ride It TV, we've got an epic adventure for you guys. We're taking wounded soldiers, we're meeting up with Craig from the Road Warriors, and we're going to the Florida Everglades. Yeah, and what we're going to do... It's going to be a great yeah. time. We're taking flyboards out. We're going to see do set up with this BRP, shipping them out there. So we're going to get boats out. And on we're the also ocean going water. to uh, nope, get we're on... We're going to be on flyboards and sea doos Let's get you out on the water. Seriously? What? My name is Craig Anders with the Road Warrior Foundation. Uh, we are an organization that takes veterans on adventures and challenges that honor their service and sacrifice. So uh, a couple months back, and uh, when we were in Daytona for Bike Week, uh, sat down and talked to uh, you know Len and Brom and Laramie, and we all kind of talked about maybe shooting a, a show together and getting to do something. So I said, hey, 10,000 Islands, perfect spot. Well, let's take a look at this clock right here plane like leaves like off the ground at 1055. Right at trips we are always running on lens time and what that is is pretty much just running late. We're late for everything. Not even fashionably late. We're <laughs> like late late. Like you don't miss the bus late. Here's the problem planes don't run on lens time. Yes they do. They get to go fast. Planes are faster than cars. I so promise it's you. lens time. I promise you they don't. It's like Beavis and Butthead <laughs> goes to the airport. <laughs> you too, Kevin. You too, Kevin. Get into it. It's your cord stuck. <laughs> Fun part about riding trips, it's constantly a battle between Brom and Larry and Man I to figure out who's gonna be the stooge that comes out on top. Ride it trips, a little like Beavis and Butthead meets Dumb and Dumb. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back in Florida. You're going to die this weekend. Why would you say that? I think you're going to get a shark's going to get you or something. I've never rode sea dews in ocean waves. I think that's going to be pretty cool. You're going to be able to get some pretty good air off those. I think so too. I don't think we need any more time. I think 
you can get 30 feet. And you're gonna need to catch some air when you're running from those sharks. <laughs> We got a sea dew over here. We got a couple sea dews back there. There's even a spider hiding in the bushes over there. Got off the plane, met up with Craig with the Road Warriors, and the house was over the top awesome. It was amazing. It was like a mansion on Marco Island, had a pool out back, it even had a hot tub. We're ready to trash this place. <laughs> yeah. This is killer. The, uh, the, the, the bigger beds for folks that brought their houses with them. But... No problem. It's all working out good. I mean, wow, hot tub. Yeah, hot tub, we got everything out here. Brom, Len. Pleasure. Bron. I'm Lynn. Len. Len. And Brom. 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 Sorry, I kind of put those together, Brom. Yeah. <laughs> First thing in the morning, we're hitting the jet skis. Craig's got a boat. We're gonna go down to the 10,000 Islands, have some fun in the mangroves. Sunrise over the ocean in the morning was awesome. Craig was in the kitchen, was cooking breakfast already. No problem, was headed straight there. He didn't care about the sun, he just wants to eat. <laughs> oh, you know, coffee. I gotta keep myself busy. <laughs> it was really cool to share the house with that caliber of guys. Uh, they were all injured in some way from their years of service, but you could tell that that did not hold them back in any way. All right, so this morning we're gonna be heading out. Uh, we're going to take, uh, get the boats over in Goodland, which is a nice little town uh, just east of here. Beautiful little marina. It's kind of like an old Florida fishing town. Uh, we're going to be uh, dropping there. We'll be heading south, kind of down towards Cape Romano. There's this cool old place where they got rid of some houses, and uh, there's, you know, there's like these dome houses there from like 25 years ago, just were abandoned. They got taken by the storms, and now they're kind of out in the water. So it's a really cool place. It almost looks like a scene from Star Wars. I think out of there, we'll probably head into Everglades City, and there's this place called the Rod and Gun Club, and that is like your best old Florida fishing village, like best representation of what, what old Florida used to look like. Probably by that time, be late in the day, I might be all tired, uh, be on the water, summer, have some fun. So uh, I'll come back here, uh, maybe get a little dinner, jump in the pool, and call it a day. entering the 10,000 islands, and I have to say, by water, this is amazing. One of my favorite parts about this trip was getting the veterans out on the waters. They took off on the sea dews, and all you can see is smiles. Adventure therapy, wind therapy is kind of our thing. It's kind of what we're trying to, I don't want to say trademark because that's a legal term, but we're trying to trademark adventure and wind therapy using sea dews and, and Can Am spiders and all the BRP power sports. And, you know, it's, it's quite simply a way to get away, focus on what's in front of you, be in ultimate control and not have your life running the show for once, you're running the show. And it really does change some people for the better. Came around the corner and there was all these weird, round looking white houses sticking up out of the water. They're just kind of sitting out in the middle of the water. It looks like a scene from Star Wars. It's really cool. You can go swimming in around there, snorkeling, spear fishing. It's just a, it's a really neat place to kind of go out and, and just see something that's kind of become merged with nature. Good master, a better day. What is it, about 80 degrees out? Water's nice and calm. We've been out on the ocean. We decided to take a break. We picked one of the 10,000 islands. It had its own beach, pulled in, hung out with the veterans. The trip's been awesome so far. Ride a TV out here with uh, some of the wounded vets. 
Um, we're going to probably head out here, get some lunch uh, in a little while, but we found this cool beach here on Panther Key, and we get to kind of chill and, and enjoy the sun, and it's not too, uh, it's, it's not too, uh, it's not too crazy, uh, but uh, no, we're having fun. Everglades City, we're going into here. Uh, it's kind of a fishing town. It's old Florida at its best. Uh, you know, we're going to go to the Rod and Gun Club. It's a little place to eat, get a little gas if we need it. Um, you know, water is a little darker down here, but this is the gateway of the Everglades. And, you know, if we're lucky, maybe we'll see a gator or two. Probably eat some gator for lunch. Finally, lunchtime. Craig has this uh, really awesome lunch plan. He's at the Rod and Gun Club, Everglades City. It's supposed to be really cool, like old Florida. I'm starving. But, um, supposed to serve like gator and everything there. We are headed to the Rod and Reel restaurant and hotel. We're gonna go in and get some real authentic seafood. And I'm gonna have mac and cheese. <laughs> It's pretty cool riding through the channels and stuff, and it's so beautiful out here. It's a good time with all the other veterans, building that camaraderie. Good time with Riot TV and the Road Warrior Foundation, just having a blast out here. Events like this get us back together, and we have fun, and then we show the average person out there got the has no injuries that there's no limit for us. You know, people like you make it happen for us, so we appreciate everything you guys do for us. Just enjoying the water, nice nice weather. We got really lucky with the waves and, and it's just a beautiful day. But. It's been an incredible day out on the water, but Craig's got a giant barbecue plan back at the Casa and I know Brom's stomach's hollering, so we're headed back. I swear, if I wasn't around, Lynn would die. six and a half years uh, on active duty Air Force. Came down here, uh, work at McDill Air Force Base with uh, Craig Anders, the founder of the Road Warrior Foundation. It's to get everybody, uh, I mean, it's, I think it's good to get everybody, all the guys back together, get that sense of com camaraderie like you have uh, when, you're, uh, when you're back serving. These guys have given so much for their country and for us to defend for our freedom that uh, I mean, just this little bit that I've done today is not even close to what they have paid and, and sacrifices they have made for us that uh, uh, I don't think we can give enough for them. The sea -Doo Spark. It's bringing the fun your family has been dreaming of. Easy to own and a thrill to ride. But the biggest rush is realizing you can own one now. The sea -Doo Spark, starting at $55.99. If you're looking to play on the road or off the road or even in the water, Pitbull has you covered. We have a complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs, as well as Can-Am spiders and all the parts and accessories. With industry-leading performance, SeaDo is the way to go when it comes to water sports. Come in today and see us at Pitbull Power Sports in Springfield, Missouri, 1332 North Glenstone. Come into Pitbull Power Sports. Live the life. 
The world's first and only on-water braking system gives you greater control over your watercraft. Simply squeeze a lever and IBR stops you up to 100 feet sooner. For increased safety and better collision avoidance. An innovation in watercraft control honored by the U.S. Coast Guard. IBR also makes for easier docking and superior low-speed maneuverability. To control other watercraft, you have to use one hand to pull up and down on a mechanical lever. With IBR, you can keep both hands on the handlebars and shift quickly and easily between forward and reverse just by squeezing and releasing a lever. Plus, a Sea-Doo watercraft with IBR automatically starts in neutral, so unlike other watercraft, you don't immediately move forward. Intelligent brake and reverse, available on select Sea-Doo watercraft for more control and greater peace of mind. It's day two on the water. We're gonna ramp this up a little bit, take the veterans out. We're gonna get them flyboarding today. This is gonna be a great time. We're loading up the boats and jet skis again. We're gonna go hit the water again. We're gonna hook up the flyboard today, let some of these guys try it out. Uh, today, I plan on having the best day I've had on the water since yesterday. I don't think it's gonna to top yesterday. What do you think, man, you excited? Pretty excited. I just gotta figure out a way how to do this flyboard. I'm gonna stick my hands down there and just hold on to it real tight. We are installing a flyboard. But uh, we're doing it right at TV fashion on the side of the road. Ten minutes before we go flyboarding. Got it. Why don't you give me that other pen? Putting a flyboard on is not too bad. With minimum tools, about 30 minutes in a parking lot, you can have your ski converted over to an awesome, awesome flyboard ultra super party fun machine. We decided to put Craig on the flyboard first, kind of give the veterans a rundown of how the flyboard works. I'm just kind of dolphin around a while to get the hang of it. There's always a uh, little bit of a learning curve to the flyboard. The curve kind of goes like this. This is most important. It was a rocky start. So he keeps going forward like that. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> First time I went over backwards pretty hard. Uh, you know, I was, I, was, I was reasonably thinking I could still continue doing this and, and get good at it. What happened to the Second time, went up pretty high, went over. I think I landed right in my ear because I'm pretty sure a water shot out the other side. Oh. My interpretation and impression of Craig flyboarding. By the third time I went up, I felt like I had a pretty good control of the board. Um, Len was really jacking it up there and shooting the throttle and, and making sure that we, uh, we, we, got our, we got our heights worth out of it. But, it was really cool, and, and once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it, and you can control it. It's, I mean, it's 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 awesome. You really have a lot of control over it, a lot more than you might think. So. It kind of looks like he's awesome. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. You know, we had uh, a, a veteran, Justin, who's he's a double above the knee amputee, and you know, we kind of said, well, it's how are we going to get this guy up to flyboard? Talk about inspiring. Justin, who is a double amputee, crawls off the sea dew, swims out, and gets on the fly board with no legs. Respect. And he just took, he took the reins. He jumped on this fly board. He sat in between the two bindings and jammed his hands in. And uh, just using brute force strength, he got himself up out of the water. I've never seen anybody do anything like that. Yay! We almost got it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Woo! laughs> the whole, all the boats went wild. We had people around us watching, going crazy, cheering. It was, it was such an inspirational moment, and it just proves that you cannot hold people down. Uh, the human spirit overcomes everything. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like everybody did really well. I mean, it was amazing. Seemed like a 
of the guys were missing a leg or missing both legs. They were able to get up on the flyboard. Yeah, the flyboard. That, that, that floored me. That was so cool. I, mean, I think uh, actually Laramie was the only one that did bad. Like he went head first into a sandbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so only a casualty of the day was that. I mean, there's a, there's a flat spot. Camera I think. guys, they got him scared. So we went all out. This was just a top-notch experience all around. Uh, thanks to Ride It TV and uh, you know the ability to just get an amazing house and great food and you know great friends and spend some quality time together. We had some great veterans come out that deserved every bit of it, and we just had an absolute blast. It was it was beyond any of my expectations. And you know the Road Warrior Foundation, Steve and I were just very appreciative that we were able to put on such a great event with the help of Ride It TV. We had an incredible time with the veterans, Craig, out on the water. It was a great time hanging out with them, but our plane doesn't leave for another day, so we're gonna go spend some time on the beach. Craig is a good friend of ours and he's putting this together with Steve. Him and Steve are top notch, they're both soldiers themselves and uh, it's an honor to be here. I love the life we live and these guys make it possible. Working with the veterans this weekend was awesome. I can't express how much respect I have for these guys. To all veterans, active service, right at TV, we thank you. Sorry, there's no one stuff at the other beach here. I'm Brom Wilson, and this is called Lynn Wacko Noodle. Feel like mixing things up a bit? Then get your insane fast and come visit comment.co. Hey, Lynn! Here, grab this. <laughs> 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 Alright, dinner's ready! Peace! Everybody better be hungry. <laughs> that was because of the noodle thing. <laughs> it was a great shot. <laughs> <laughs>